Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I will be discussing about the installation of Gitbucket and use it for source or version control. So what is Gitbucket? Gitbucket is an easily installable Git platform written with Scala. It has a GitHub-like user interface with features like Git repository repository hosting via HTTP and SSH, repository viewer issues, wiki and plugin system. If you're familiar with Bitbucket or Microsoft Team Foundation Server or TFS, this is very similar. The biggest difference is that this is open source and it's free. What you will need to run Gitbucket, you will need to install Java or OpenJDK 23 or higher. Uh, you need a copy of Git so you can uh, test it against Gitbucket and you need to download the gitbucket.war file and then uh, you would need a web browser such as Chrome, Edge or Safari. Okay, so in the next uh, slide I will present to you the steps to install it. Okay, so the first step is to get the war file uh, that for file which is part of git bucket so I provided the link above here it's github.com slash git bucket slash git bucket slash releases so uh, just download this file here make sure you download it then once you download this file go to um, this link I provided here https slash jdk dot java.net slash 23 and download the zip file for your platform. In this case, uh, this installation will be on a Windows machine. So download the Windows 64 bit zip file here and ensure that you download it completely. And once you're done with that, then you want to go to this link here that I provided and download a version of the git executable and then install this okay when you're completed the download you should have a couple things here so the git bucket.war file chrome setup.exe or safari uh, this is the open jdk uh, 23 that i'm referring to a while ago and then git exe so you would need to install this, which is the OpenJDK. What you need to do is uh, uh, open up the this um, RAR file, or I'm sorry, zip file, and just copy this to uh, your C drive or D drive. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Then uh, afterward, you want to add that into your uh, environment. So edit environment, environment variable, and then the path. So I added here already, it's uh, C slash JDK 23 slash bin. Okay. And make sure you add that to, uh, to able to run Java. Okay. And then the next step will be installing it. So install git and i already installed it but just uh, execute it and install it and it should be an icon on your desktop then if you don't have uh, chrome or a browser make sure you have one install in the next step i will show you how to run git bucket okay as soon as you have the file downloaded copy the git bucket war into a folder like git bucket then uh, the second step is to create a batch file. So the batch file would have just this executing java dash jar git bucket dot war. Okay. And afterward, just execute the batch file. 
and this will take a few minutes uh, to initialize the program and wait for it okay so it has started okay and then you can minimize this when um, it has started okay minimize it you can minimize this and then bring up a browser and you can do localhost or if you know your IP address in this case is uh, the default port is 8080 so it'll be your localhost colon 8080 to bring up git bucket and you need to log in or sign in so the default password you can reset this but the default password is uh, root for root user okay so as you can see it's already up and running uh, there's no repository we'll create a couple um, repo to demonstrate its capability okay so to create the repository uh, there is a plus symbol here click on uh, the new repository option and you can assign a, uh, a name for the repository in this case I'm going to call it uh, test repo test underscore repo I can choose it to be public private what I'm going to do is uh, put a description here this is a test repo I'm gonna create just private for myself and initialize this repo with uh, a readme.txt file then click on the create repository button to create it okay give it a few minutes and you can see that this repo is now present with a readme.txt file and uh, I'll go ahead and show you the next step of how to clone it. So uh, there is a uh, clipboard button here. You can click on this and we'll copy this into the buffer. You can open a uh, command prompt window. And let's say that you have a repo here, git repo. I created git repo directory and I can do a git clone and this will clone the repo to my desktop okay and then I can see into it let me see if I could do a git pull and it's already updated I already done this once already so that's why it did not ask me for a password but it should ask me for a password if you initialize it for the first time so so imagine that I have a file, right? So let's do a... Uh, uh, so I can do like a test file here. So include uh, iostream.h Sorry. Using namespace standard you know just gonna create a hello world program hello world and line right? and then just save it okay and I can compile it you know I can do Okay. And I can execute it. Okay. But now I want to add this to our repo. So to do this, I can do git status. Okay. Git branch. And this is going to the main branch, right? So I need to add the file. So I'm going to get git add star. Okay, and then I can do git commit 
uh, just add two new files. Okay, then I can do a git push. And it's written to the main repo. Okay, so let's go back to our browser and check it out. And as you can see, uh, there are two new files that has been pushed into our repo. Okay, and so that's how easy uh, you can use git bucket and uh, let's go back here for a moment and let's say that I create a new branch right so git status again okay git branch and there's only main branch so let's say I want to create a new test branch so git branch test branch okay and so git branch so let's do git checkout of test branch okay and I want to create a, um, a file here so let's say I have a new file called um, hello world again right so let's say using namespace standard hello say hello my world okay and then just save this file as uh, hello my world dot cpp okay and so if you list this file here there's a hello world my world so I need to uh, get, do a git status and then let's do an add and uh, now I want to be able to commit it so git commit adding hello my world file okay and I, I can do a push okay but I need to just execute this okay it's already pushed to test branch so let's go back to our browser and see if it's already in the branch so let's look at the you can refresh it and let's look at the branch branches and there should be another branch called test branch and test branch has now hello my world cpp in it okay so that's how simple it is to use the git bucket software okay so I'm gonna show you how to create pull requests so right now we have two branches right there is the main branch and the test branch I would like to create pull requests so the code gets merged into the main branch okay so when you click on branches right next to it there is a uh, button called new pull request so click on that and you can create a a pull request that goes from the uh, base branch which is main and then so the way this is listed out is kind of backward in most software like um, TFS etc uh, this is listed you know the base is normally listed uh, to the right and then the uh, the test branch 
or the uh, uh, child brand should be listed on the left. So, but it's okay. So let's create a uh, pull request, and you can see that the only changes I have is hello world here. Uh, you can write a comment like, okay, create a pull request to bring in new changes. Okay, and then click on create pull request. Okay, and you can see that the pull request is um, open. So in uh, organization, big, larger organization, um, you would have a reviewer, right, to review the code, make sure it's up to standard. And um, once it's up to standard, then you can approve this pull request. So, you know, right now it's just an uh, example, right? So there's only one user. Uh, I'll just go ahead and say, okay, this is cool. Uh, let's check it in. And then uh, merge pull request. Okay. Now do it one more time because it's still open. Let's do merge pull request. And then click on confirm merge. And so the new code now is into it's merge uh, into the main from test branch, as you can see here, and it's marked as close. And here uh, it says it's merge. So if you go to the branch and take a look at the main branch, you can see that the new file has been included into our main branch. Okay. So uh, this is all the time I have for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time. And I hope you subscribe to my channel and find uh, these information as useful.